A San Francisco sandwich shop owner says he is fed up after somebody punched him in the face right outside his business. You see the welts there. The frustrated shop owner says he was trying to keep the man from urinating on his store's trash cans when he was assaulted. He's now hoping city leaders see his pain and step up to help the small business and other businesses suffering from crime and grime. Crowd Force Dan Thorne is in the newsroom now with more on this story. Poor guy, Dan. Uh, that's right, Grant. Well, shortly after last night's attack, the owner of Sandy's, which is located in the hate, vented his frustrations on social media. He has a black eye and a cut on his forehead after being punched. But the bigger hit might be to his hopes for the city and what it means for running a business here in San Francisco. I'm fed up with this guy city. The face of muffaletta maker Peterson Harder marked with a black eye and a cut. He is venting his anger and frustrations after getting attacked outside of his sandwich shop on Haight Street Wednesday. Harder says he was trying to stop an unknown man from peeing outside of his business. I love the neighborhood we're in, and I don't stand for something like that. I'm not going to just let things go in this neighborhood. That's not who I am. And so I called him out on it. And I was walking back and he just like hit me in the face. Harder's New Orleans inspired shop Sandy's just became a brick and mortar back in April. He's been excited about having a place to call his own, but he says this assault shows the unfair risks of running a business in San Francisco. And I hear from a lot of other small business owners, especially after this incident, of having it, what they have to go through on a daily basis, whether it's cleaning up human feces or cleaning up a window or a graffitied uh, wall or their employees being harassed. Harder has called on the governor, the mayor, and District 5 supervisor Dean Preston for answers. Preston sent Cron for a statement saying Sandy's has been a wonderful addition to the neighborhood. It's heartbreaking that this happened, and we will continue to make sure they get the support they need. San Francisco police confirms they are investigating the attack. Harder says big businesses leaving the city should be enough of a signal that San Francisco is struggling. But small businesses are still trying to hold strong despite all of the challenges. I love this city. I, I want to stay here. I really see the promise and the hope, and I think this could be one of the greatest cities in the world. But right now it's not, and there needs to be changes. If and when this suspect is caught, Harder says that he does not want them to go to jail. He thinks they should do community service because that would make them give back to the community. In the newsroom, Dan Thorne, Cronfor News.